Do you have irrational fears? Do you lie awake all night worried that spiders are going to crawl inside your brain and create a spider colony while you're asleep? Raccoons rummaging through your underwear drawer. Panty plundering trash pandas poking through people's private places? Fear no more. The fear doctor's in. Dr. Jack is a highly skilled fear doctor. Most of his patients come out just fine. There are no guarantees when working with a fear doctor. All fears are subject to grow more irrational. Only time will tell. Dr. Jack takes no responsibility for the results. Not a real doctor. Call 818-555-5555. You need the doctor. Yeah, we do. It's Trent in the building. You already know what it is. It's opposite season, y'all. From the verses. Hit it, y'all. Period. I'm out. Woo! We might not always see eye to eye. Everything I asked you for. Good. Real good. And the money? Real good. Okay, gentle now, you. Ah! I don't trust banks. My technique is simple, yet flawless. Imagine someone's scared of snakes. I put them in a tub, strap their arms down, put snakes all over their body. Yes, they scream and freak out, whoop de doo But they face their fears. After repeat exposure, they become numb to it. That's where I come in. I'm your fear guide, or your shaman on your ayahuasca trip. This all sounds completely legit. It is. One question, though. Yes? Is your name Jack in the Box? It's pronounced Thaber. Right. Is that Josh kid all there? Not a chance. <laughs> Should I finish my sausage making course? You can count on it. <laughs> You're going good. Should I worry about that restraining order? One more time. Praise him, Marcus. Praise him. Shut up. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Amber. Wait. Why? Josh said it was urgent. I have been sitting here in silence for 20 minutes waiting for you. 
Sorry. Hey, Chris. Hey. How's school? Ooh, you know, born redundant, basic bitch tea. But today it's about this one in this mystery box. What's in it? That's one. What is it? It's Dr. Jax. Whoop. Dr. Jax. Mm -hmm. He wanted us to be here for his entrance. I'm, I need some of the text. Hold on a second. Okay. So what's supposed to happen? Something amazing. What's in this? I don't know. I'm sure you wouldn't mind if we take a little peek. Again, I am so sorry. Don't even worry about it. Happens all the time. It's like an airbag. Okay, Josh, can you tell me why we're sitting in your living room with a suited clown? You said this was for Marcus. Well, it is. Hi. I'm here to help you face your fears. No, you're not. What was that? I don't have any fears. Everyone fears something. Sometimes we don't know what it is. And sometimes it's yourself. What I have here is my trusty box of numbers. You will pick it and it will tell me who goes first. Thanks, but no thanks, Dr. Phil Clowns McCall. I have better things to do with my time than playing make believe and press on. I understand your opposition to my treatment, but I have one thing to say. Live your truth, Kelsey. My truth? My truth is you're a clown in a business suit. I eat men like you for breakfast. You're lucky I'm not in the mood for a happy meal. Hey guys, no. sorry I'm late. I got caught up at class. What is this foolishness? I'm the fear doctor. What about it? What is this foolishness? Josh. Josh. It makes sense. <laughs> oh, how nice. A fancy meal. I know. I was filet mignon with a side of truffle oil. <laughs> I hope it's a pizza. Aim higher. I hope it is what I think it is. You know, arachnophobia. 17 to 21 million people suffer from this psychological terror. <laughs> Most people associate it with the spider forgetting all about its larger counterpart. This oh, no! <laughs> It's in the cage. We got you. Yeah. yeah. What he say? Unless that thing jump out, then I'm gone. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. You. Love you, buddy. How does he know that Chris hates scorpions? I don't know. Humans believe one thing. In order to stay on top of the food chain, we must consume everything around us. As we consume, we become our surroundings. I would like you all to lift your plate covers. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. I'm not eating that. We Who must on consume. Earth must must eat a scorpion. What? It tastes good. Even Kaban likes it, see? I guess I'll try it. Well, okay, here we go. Now that you've started to devour your fear, I want you all to bite down and remove the stick. Chew and swallow. So how is your scary sweet snack? Fine now, I guess. They're worse when they're alive. Now you can look them in their beady little eyes and tell them, I will eat your ass. Your head and your tail. I'll eat your whole body. I thought you were bad. All right, everyone. You can open your eyes. Why are we at Altoids? Vestophobia is the fear of clothing. Cockophobia is the fear of ugliness. Therefore, I'm calling Trent's disorder of being unfashionable Vestacockophobia. Makes sense. No, it doesn't. It kind of does. How? 
The other day I tried to lend you my shirt. You it, didn't take it. It looked like a trash bag. If I wear it, it'd be disgusting. That's the cockophobia. Anyways, I've decided the only way to fix this is to bring you to the thrift shop here and have you wear outfits out for the day. Oh, thrift shop? Yes. A friend will be picking your outfits out. Chris? Josh will be picking your outfits out. That is not my friend. Ow. Friend or not, he's your weekend director, your stylist to help you through the racks. Everyone, please follow me. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Kels, you came back. I'm here for Marcus and Marcus only. Still came back though. Right here. China. Oh, hey guys! <laughs> hey, what y'all doing here? Nothing. Josh got us dragged into his little shenanigans again, and then he thought he was gonna dress Trey. Can you believe that? <laughs> I got to see this. Ooh, come on! Why does everybody think this is a joke? <laughs> oh my! What's your name? Jackie. Hi guys! Where do you not work? Nowhere really. And what about the maternity thing? Oh, I'm on my second lip. I'm sorry, pregnancy. <laughs> I think whoever works at the district is asleep at their desk, obviously. <laughs> well, if you guys need anything, let me know. I do get paid by the hour, so please take your time. Josh, you're picking out all the outfits. Oh, hell no! Just go play dress up. <laughs> How are you? Well, I started my own boutique, an online store, um, but I was spending a lot of time here, so I thought, may as well stay in the back, kind of check out the merchandise. But now I'm flush with all these partial dish sets, but I'm kind of hoping for a 40-piece set for, like, dinner parties. Very nice. A woman of many interests, I see. Yes, I am capable of many things. I like it. I'm a Dr. Jack of all trades myself. <laughs> That's interesting. Because I'm a Jackie of all trades, and there's usually only one. Well, I mean, just this morning I was a chef, and later on tonight I'll be an animal wrangler, if you know what I mean. No, what do you mean? Huh. At my other job, I wrangle animals, but they told me to call them students. Mm. <laughs> but I do have a shift tonight at the horse shelter, so I'll literally be wrangling animals. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, how exciting. Uh -huh. yeah. How are we feeling? Are we comfortable? I look like Josh. How long do I have to wear this? Well, vesticarcophobia is inflamed by social phobias, the fear of what others think. Now that you're dressed like the common folk, go forth into the world, my flock. Ugh. That's the cockophobia. All right, dog. <laughs> so, Kavan, you haven't freaked out all day. Why would I? Because you said you were scared of clowns. You're not afraid of clowns. What I said was, if I seen a clown in the middle of the night doing something weird, I'd be scared. So I'm afraid of small spaces. Mm. Oh, really? Marcus, hmm? would you please be the first one in for us? In where? In the closet. I ain't been in the closet in a long time. I ain't going back for nobody. I know that's right. <laughs> for the other sick. <sighs> Did you come in here too? Of course. Are you comfy? No, not really. Good. Comfort makes us weak. Mm -hmm. What have you learned today? I don't know. That I'm trapped in the closet. There's a clown in the closet. Makes no sense in the closet. 
Yes, exactly, Marcus. Fear never makes sense. One minute you're fine, the next minute you're trapped in a closet. A closet. Closet. Can I go? Be gone. Kelsey. Daddy girl. Time to accept your truth, Kelsey? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're up next, Chris. And that's not it. Be comfy? Do I look comfortable? And why are you so close to me? You got it. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Comfy, right? Actually, yeah, it's bigger than my first apartment. Well, little Joshy, I notice here that you haven't faced your fear today, which is hugs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like hugs from somebody I don't know. It's a little weird. Jerk. Yeah, I sing like a little squirrel right now. Did, was it? What, a little what? A little girl. Sweet Does your hair ever squirrel? squirrel? Okay, now I know you just said squirrel. Does your hair ever curl? Or does it say straight like That's that? That's weird. If you want to keep a squirrel friend, just buy her a squirrel necklace. Okay, now I know you just said squirrel. I said, if you want to keep a girlfriend, buy her a pearl necklace. Your friend said you were having problems with the girls, you know? Yeah, that does make sense. It's not so bad, right? You're having a good time in there. Yeah, I mean, not so bad. Cool. Yeah, not so bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I don't know what you guys are complaining about. All right, come on. Everyone else is gone. Let's go. I key, uh, pass. pass. If you let a little fear of enclosed spaces stop you here today, how will you know how far you can make it? Uh, here we go. Are you comfy? No, I am not. I have to get out. You don't. I feel like a sardine. Well, you are. Oh, you're so weird. Don't worry. You're still talking. You're breathing. Sure, You'll be free there. What? Look under the door. Do you see the crack? Yeah. The light's coming in from there. You know what that means, right? If you have something to focus on and you could breathe, and you, your mind will be fine. You could conquer your fear. Since you've been in here, you definitely calmed down a little bit, haven't you? I guess, but I don't want to be in here. Personal space, personal space, personal space, personal space, personal space. Don't touch me! Come on! All right, off to our next task. What are these for? Hey, everyone. Hi hey. there, I'm Dr. Jack. <laughs> Is this normal? I don't know. Oh, hey, everybody. I swear. I saw it. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Let's just get him on the couch and go. Come on, squirrel. Just eat the dang nuts already. Come what? on, the predator. Come on, squirrel. Come on. What are you doing? Try to feed the dang squirrel. Well, what's waving your nuts at it going to do? Men have been trying to do that on the internet for years. It never works. What am I supposed to do then? Show you're trustworthy. That they can, you're never going to hurt them. You hold them so nice. You're still talking about the squirrel, right? Yes, yes, of course. The squirrel, Josh. Slowly approach. No hostility. It's there you okay, go. Squirrel. It's okay, squirrel. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, it's happening. It's eating. It ate the nuts. It ate the food. Ah! 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 
go too much. <laughs> no, it was just enough. Let me see that. I'll be right back. Oh, not without me, you won't. What just happened? Josh raised his And fell miserably. That's what he gets for this. So, Josh is afraid of squirrels? <laughs> not that squirrel in particular, but it stems back to a childhood trauma. Squirrels. Sounds like you're trying to trigger an anxiety attack. See, what happened was he tripped over a squirrel when he was younger, and all the other squirrels retaliated with sticks and stones and broke his little pinky bone. Let me get that squirrel! Uh. And now for our final fear. Why am I the only one that gets a weapon? We found that over time, weapons and tools and experiences are a great way to help us through a scary situation. Seriously? Are you ever going to live your truth, Kelsey? You want a truth? Here's a freaking truth! Well, it's working. What do you think? How did your day go today, Marcus? I don't know. I ate something weird. Got stuck in small slices. I'm fresh pork. And Kelsey is strangely good with a bat. What you did see was somebody take their fear, put it in their its place, their stomach. We made our way out of a dark place, stopped caring about what others think, and survived the traumatic experience. Each of these experiences that we had will help us with our fear. Even though these tests probably won't help you in real life. Hold up. You couldn't just, like, refer an anxiety course or something? I'm not a real doctor. How would I do that? What? Wait, that's it? You had us do all that, and that's... I had to feed squirrels, man! I had to feed squirrels! You at least throw ground dog on him! What up, you told him? Yeah, I told him! <sighs> Where's the whack? Hmm, good Yeah. Closet. <laughs> You're fine, Marcus. You're fine, Marcus. <laughs> no. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. But this is just another day of being Marcus. Black man in America. Always been a black man in America. Always gonna be a black man in America. And ain't nothing wrong with that. You're a king. And kings don't cower from telling their friends and family what's wrong with them. You're gonna make it. You will make it. Step by step. And day by day, you will make it. And ain't nobody gonna stop that. So what's the problem? There is no problem. Because my skin is not my sin. You are a king. Remember that. Black man in America. You got this. Period. We might not always see eye to eye, but I know you're always by my side. And it don't matter if we're near or far. Just who we are
Cause we are